All right, guys, uh, I'm going to show you some knots today. Um, this first one is a knot that I use uh, to tie any sort of lure on um, to the hook, whether it is something like a swim bait head, something like that, um, whatever it can be, maybe just a normal hook like this. This is just a three out hook, I believe. So, sorry if you just heard that, we have a thunderstorm right now. But, so is what I do is I go through the eye of the hook two times. So you're going to go through it, you can see that, through it once, and then I pull out some line, and then I go back through that same eye again, which creates that circle right there that you can see right here. Okay. Now the trick is, is you want your tag end and the line going to your rod on different sides of this loop. So you can see here, you see that? I have one on each side of the loop. I was trying to get a good background so you guys could see this. But So once you get one on each side of the loop, then you just pull it down slowly and I pull it down and pinch it. Then I take the tag end of the line and I go back towards the hook and just twist it and make another loop. Let me move this over here. So this this part of the line right here is going to the rod. I have this part right here which is my tag end that goes back through, un it go underneath your whole, whole hand and everything and come up through the loop, okay, and pull it and that's one. So you're gonna go six times through it. Now when I stick it through I need like a third hand so I put it in my mouth. So that's two, three, four, five, six and if it starts to bind up on you like this that's okay just pull it and, and it kinda pops it free so there's six now I lubricate it with my mouth my spit and then I pull both of both tag line and main line and it's just gonna tighten down so I lubricated it and I'm just gonna pull it down you can see it kinda tighten up right there now I'll lubricate it again where the line meets the eye of the hook. So like right here in my hand. And then I pull it down onto that. And I pull my tag in and then my main line once more. So you can see, well, can't really see. If you can see the knot on there. Let me see if I get my hand out of the way if you can see it any better. So there's the knot. I'm holding the main line right here. And then that's the tag line. Then we trim it. So that's the knot right there. And I love this knot, man. This knot never fails. It's literally like the best knot that I've ever tied. <clears throat> All right, so that I believe that's actually called the fishing fool. So you could check online and see if you can find uh, someone that has a better video out there or something. It's really hard to do knot tying videos because you can't get the right lighting for everything. But so that's what I do. Now I'll tie it on the I'm gonna tie the exact same knot onto this hook. Try to zoom in here a little bit for you guys. So I have the eye of the hook. I go through it once, pull some line through, go through it a second time. Mix the loop, pull that loop down into your fingers, pinch it make a loop with the tag end to where you have 
this line, this is your main line going out here. And this is your loop with your tag in, so you can see that. And now I go under all of that and come up through the loop and I bite it and pull it up in. And so that's one. And then you do the same thing again. And that's two, and I pull it, pull it tight every time. Three, four, five, and six. So there's my six. Now I wet it and pull it. And now I'm gonna wet my line that goes towards my hook. And now I'm going to pull it down onto the hook. So you saw it cinch up. And now just for good measure, I always pull my tag line. And then pull my main line. So there you can see the hook. See if I take this off, if you guys can see better. This one's hard to see in the camera, but I'll go ahead and trim the tagline. See if I can get it up in there. You can see how nice that knot is. All right, again, fishing full knot, best knot that I've ever learned. Easy to tie once you get the hang of it. So the next one that we'll do, all right, so is what you're going to do uh, is you're going to start this knot by ha holding your hook. I do it in my left hand. Now the eye should be at the bottom, but the hook is at the top. You want it to sit like that in the water. So if the top of the screen is where the hook is, you see it's at the top. And then, so you're just going to flip, I'm going to flip that. Now the hook portion is up near the ceiling, and the eye of the hook is down near the ground. Now I'm going to take my line, and I'm going to go through this, the eye of the hook going down. And I'm going to pull like two feet of line out. Let me just, I got it attached to the spool right here. And now is what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back the exact same way I just came through the hook. I'm going to go through the eye going up. Now, if you just pull, the, the hook is now in, on the line. Now, if you just pull this line, or if I dangle it, the hook will just drop off onto the ground. There's, it, the loop is not around the hook, it's just in the eye. So then is what you're going to do is, you now normally you pull about two feet of line through on this loop. Make sure you still have your tag end and everything there. So now I have about two feet of line going through and the hook is just kind of resting on the line. I'm trying to be able to show you guys here. Can you see that? Let me put this over here. So you can see in this hand is the loop wrapped around my fingers and the hook is just dangling on both lines. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to hold it, hold both lines <coughs> and you're just going to do an overhand knot around the hook. So you go twist and come through the middle. Now I go through the middle twice so I'm going to do it one more time through the middle and the reason I do this is <coughs> it, excuse me it makes the knot a little bit bigger and you'll see why here when I tighten it down. So then now you have the loop and everything and you're going to reach through the loop and you're going to grab the hook and you're just going to pull that whole knot and everything through. So now you have your line and everything is around your knot. It looks crazy right now, I know. But so you're going to start to pull it down. Now at this point, I wet it down. Spit. And now I'm going to pull it. Now that is just called a polymer knot, right? A lot of people use this as their main uh, not you can 
I prefer to use the fishing full knot. It's way, the fishing full knot is way stronger. But for the for drop shotting, this polymer knot is much better. So now you have your knot, you have your main line and tag line. Now you're going to take your tag line and with your hook facing up like we started and your eyes down, so see there's the hook, it's facing up towards the ceiling and then my eyes below, you're going to take your tag line and you're going to go down through the eye again, going down towards the floor. Now the reason we just made that knot bigger by uh, putting that uh, the extra loop in there or twisting it one more time, the overhand knot, is so now is what you're going to do is you're going to twist that knot. You see it moving? So you're going to twist it up on top of the eye. So that's what it's going to do. Let me get this in the frame here. Let me see if I can get it to focus one sec. So you see that? So now, see how the hook sticks straight out? That's what you're going to want. Let's see if it'll stop moving for us. See that? So now, this is my tag line going this direction. So, and my main line is this line that's moving right now. So the, hook's, the hook is now facing the top. So you twist your, your knot to where it's inside the eye of the hook and see that holds it straight out. That's what you want. Then as you come down the line, so I'm going to move my hand. As you come down, you're going all the way down. This is my tag end of where the, the sinker will go or the weight. So now you take this weight and you're going to put your little tag end in there and you can adjust it to however far you want. I always think that about two feet is prime And you put your weight on there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So, is what that leaves you with is, can you see that whole setup? Can you guys see the hook on there? It's right here. This is the hook. And then as you go towards the scissors, you follow the line over here is the weight. So I got about two feet right there from the hook to the weight and then my hook is up here. Zoom in for you. Now you see how the hook sits flat out. That's what you want. You want the hook to be out like that so when you hook your worm to it um, the worm will stick out straight like this. Now how you hook the worm is up to you. You can hook it wacky wig, rigged. You could just put it right over the top and you know just like a quarter inch in and have your have it dangling right out the back here and it's going out that way. Is what I do is I hook it into the nose and then I come out the tip. So just the tip of the hook is penetrating through the nose of the worm. And that's what I like to do use them for. I hook them all different directions guys. It depends on what type of fishing I'm doing. But that is the drop shot setup. So there's the, the weight, and we're going to follow the line all the way up. And there's the hook standing straight out. And that's what you want. And every time you catch a fish, just make sure that you take that knot and you're going to push it back onto the top of the hook and pull it tight. That's the drop shot setup, guys, that I use. I love it. It's quick, it's easy. You don't have to tie two knots constantly going back and forth. You tie one polymer knot on the hook. You run your tag in down to the sinker and you attach your sinker and you're good to go. And it's really fast and really easy.